everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fantastic. I'm so glad you're joining me. I'm back again with a birthday card this time. We're going to create a card using the Silly Goose stamp set. This is designed by Simon Hurley and it's available over at Spellbinders. I do have the coordinating die set. But today's card is going to be a fun, different style card that you don't necessarily need this stamp set to create it. Um, but if you wanted to switch out the images for maybe some flowers, I think the design is just as pretty. So let's start by doing our background. We're going to do our background first, and then we'll do some stamping with our, our goose here. For my background, I'm bringing in a Spellbinders embossing folder. This is the 3D corrugated embossing folder. I just love this. What I'm going to do is take a piece of pink cardstock, and I'm going to place it not vertically so the stripes are going. I'm going to place it so the stripes are actually going to go horizontal. I have this in my embossing folder. And then I also have a piece of green cardstock. We're going to place this in. So this panel, the stripes are going to go horizontal. This piece, our stripes are going to go vertical. Okay. I'm going to use my sprayer. Spellbinder sprayer. And you know, this is, this is alcohol in it. I found that if you use alcohol with your 3D embossing folders, it dries so much faster than water. And it does the same thing. So I'm just going to spray it. I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to run this through my die cut machine. So now we have our stripes. No cracking. And it's dry, which is really nice. And then we have this piece too. Okay, we're going to put this to the side. Now I'm going to bring in some white ink. I'm using Simon Says Stamps white pigment, pigment ink. And I'm going to go over my corrugated with my white ink. Any kind of ink pad you have would work. I know Hero Arts has a great pigment ink pad too. I'm going to go over the green also. This will take a little bit of time to dry, so I'm going to set this aside and I'll clean off my work surface and then we're going to do some stamping. I brought back my black Ulta New craft mat. I did this um, because of the glare from my my white glass mat. It was just too much and I couldn't film. I could only film basically in the morning, so I brought this back and I can film anytime during the day so I could work around my family schedule. <laughs> so let me know if you like the white one better or if you like this one down below in the description area. I'd like to know because I could fix things that make it better for you guys. Okay, now we're going to do some stamping. So I'm going to bring in my stamping positioner. I already have some white cardstock in here. And we're going to use this goose here that has the balloon. We're going to stamp it twice. I'm going to put it down here. I'm actually going to stamp the party hat too. I'm going to stamp the party hat that has the pom-pom. One of our geese are going to have a party hat. We're going to just do some basic copra coloring with memento ink. So let's go ahead and stamp our bird. I'm going to wipe off my hat. I'm going to keep my bird in here and then I'm just going to flip my paper around, make it easy. I'm stamping on 80 pound cardstock because it's easier to die cut and um, we'll stamp our second one now. Wonderful. Okay, now we're at, while we're at it, let me clean this bird off here. Now while we're stamping, we're going to stamp our balloon. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and place this. And then what we're going to do is bring in some Distress Oxide inks. I have two different color sets. My first one, I'm going to ink up with Salvage Patina. And I'm going to highlight it using a finger dauber with Peacock Feathers. Just for a little bit of... Um, for a little bit of depth, okay? And then my second balloon, I'm going to be using squeezed lemonade and fossilized amber for this balloon, okay? I'm going to play a little bit of music while I do this, and then I'm also going to stamp my greeting at the same time. So when I'm done, I'll be right back.
Okay, I did all my stamping and my coloring is all done. Very, very simple coloring. And what we're going to do next is do some die cutting. I'm going to go ahead and take the coordinating die and I'm going to line these up. I'm going to stamp this one more time on a piece of white cardstock because I'm going to create a circle with this. So I can save this for another card. And bring in my circle dies. And I'm going to die cut out happy birthday with this. I'm going to center it. Now I also have two pieces of cardstock. I have a very light gray. You can see it against the white. I'm going to create a frame with this. So I'm going to take one of my dies, a thin frame, and I'm also going to take this one that we're going to cut this one out with. I'm going to create a thin frame here. And then with this one, I'm going to take a slightly smaller, you can see the size difference, and then I'm going to take the largest and cut this out. So with why they'll, they'll all be the same, but um, we'll have a thin frame, a thicker frame, and then a circle with the background. Once we have everything die cut out, we're going to put this to the side and I'm going to bring in my punch. Any kind of tag die you have would work great. And then I have some, some glitter card stock. This is from Spellbinders and it's the Spring Tone Assorted. There's some white glitter card stock in here. I'm going to use a piece of that white glitter card stock. It's kind of very subtle, but if we're making a birthday card, I think it's going to work perfectly. I'm going to trim down a panel that's two and a half inches wide and we'll go five inches tall. The largest tag is two and a half inches wide so I'm going to place this in here as far as it will go. I like to hold mine down and I'm going to punch and then we have a tag. I may trim the bottom off, we'll see. Okay, now I do want to add an eyelet, but before we do that, I'm going to bring back my circle die set. Now I'm going to take the die that we use for the inside of the smallest frame. Okay, and then I'm going to cut out a window in this panel here. I want about maybe a quarter of an inch hanging over. So now we have a circle cut out of here. And if we layer these together, it will layer perfectly over the top. That's what we're going to do. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and take an eyelet. I picked up these pack of eyelets on Amazon. I'll link it down below. I think it even comes with a bread setter, but I don't use that. I use my crocodile. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll go ahead and set our bread. Wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and layer both of these frames together just using some glue. And then what I'm going to do is add some glue around this circle here. I love creating stuff like this on cards because it's just something not typical. Now this is glitter cardstock, so I'm going to give it a second to adhere. I actually have some clothespins that I can use to help this set on my on my glitter cardstock. And in the meantime too, I'm also going to bring in some black and white baker's twine. Okay, and then let's move this over. We're going to bring in our corrugated piece. I'm going to use my scissors. We're going to create a dome shape with it.
Okay, and then this is going to go tack down at the very bottom of my tag, I think. Let's see. I actually think I'm going to trim maybe a half of an inch off the bottom of this tag. I'm going to tack this down at the very bottom of our tag. I'm going to bring back my clothespin. I'm going to go hold it on, on both sides here. Carefully, I don't want to bend the corrugation, but we'll, this, we'll just set this down so it adheres. Okay, we have our happy birthday. What I'm going to do is flip this around and I'm going to put foam tape behind here and along my tag. Now I'm going to take my happy birthday and I only remove the release paper around this circle here. We're going to tack this down, making sure our birthday it's right side up. I went ahead and put my card front panel on my card base, so this is ready to go. And our ink, our pigment ink is nice and dry. And then I removed the release paper off of my tag. I'm gonna use my glue over that circle we created. And then we're gonna adhere this to the front of our card base. The lines from the corrugated helps a lot. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim the tails here. And then we can add our geese. I'm going to add a little dot of glue on our yellow bird here. And we'll add party hat here. Okay, now all that's left is a little bit of extra sparkle, and I'm going to bring in my Color Essential Gems. I'm bringing my Spectrum AB Gems. Actually, we have a few left on this sheet. We'll finish up with one big one here. I went ahead and did a little bit of adjusting. I scooted my tag over to the right. Instead of it being centered, I thought it would look better a little bit more towards the the right and then I do need to add another piece of foam tape behind this balloon since it's overlapping a little bit and I'm happier with the way this looks that finishes my card today something a little bit different with those tags and again you could turn this easily into a shaker if you wanted to you know but Today we use the Spellbinders Silly Goose Stamp Set from Simon Hurley. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.